Ehrlichman went to prison, and so did Dean, Magruder, Haldeman, Mitchell. 21 men who followed and served Richard Nixon were convicted of high crimes and misdemeanors. It's important to point out that uh, by the resignation and the acceptance of the pardon, uh, Mr. Nixon, if you go back to a Supreme Court decision, uh, in effect admitted guilt. Well, I think uh, if we've learned any lesson from Watergate is that our constitutional system, which includes the whole system, legislative, judicial, executive system, our constitutional system of government, Nancy, worked, in my opinion, the way the founding fathers hoped it would work. And wouldn't those young men and women who had a lot to do with writing the Constitution and Bill of Rights, wouldn't they have been so proud if they had been living during these days, uh, during these trying times, and see how the courts function, the executive departments, and so forth? They'd have been so proud. And I've thought about that many times. It was the constitutional, our constitutional system of, of justice that brought down the, his downfall and reestablished the proposition that no man's above the law in this country, even the President of the United States. The system works, a surprising view to grow out of the disillusion and cynicism of Watergate. We wanted to ask Richard Nixon about that now, 10 years later, and about what had happened to him, the country, his place in history. He declined to talk with us, but many other Americans did. Television Corporation of America commissioned a poll, and we found that if Richard Nixon's place in history were to be determined by what people think today, it would go like this. Did Richard Nixon do wrong? 80% said yes, but 53% thought that other presidents engaged in the same kinds of activities. Of those who thought he did wrong, 18% thought he should go to jail, 27% thought he should be impeached, and 40% thought he should do what he did, resign. Should President Nixon have been pardoned? The country is split right down the middle. And even now, Richard Nixon can still draw a crowd. A few weeks ago in California, over 7,000. And recently in Morocco, over 75,000. Could he win another election? Our pollsters asked, if Richard Nixon were running for public office today, would you vote for him? The answer was a definite no. 70% would not. Could Watergate happen again? We asked Elliot Richardson. I think the country is secure against anything like Watergate for a long time to come. That's true, isn't it?